Hi, Peter Tran with iconsphotography.com. I'm doing a video of what's in the bag. Actually, what's in the box is I don't really use a bag, but uh, let's get started. Alchemy. That's alchemy. <laughs> Sleeping. So this is what's in the box. No, I'm just joking. Film cameras. No, I don't really use those. They're just uh, collectors. All right, what's really in the box is this. This is my whole getup for my wedding and fashion shoots. So let's do a review. All right, so I guess we'll go from left to right. Um, I have a Lowell light system. Um, I mainly use this for engagement shoots and sometimes receptions. Um, I don't use it too much anymore, but um, it's nice. It has a nice warm look to it. Strap that on a monopod and you're all set. Um, I have my 580 EX flashes, um, pocket wizards to trigger those. And I guess, uh, let's go through the lens. I have a 24 millimeter tilt shift lens, 17 to 40, 4.0, 24 to 72.8, 24 millimeter, 1.4, 135, 2.0, and 85, 1.2. All L lenses. Um, my two main lenses that I use the most for weddings are going to be my 24 millimeter and my 85 millimeter 1.2. Um, just because they do amazing, amazing, um, they look amazing at, in, in low light. They do a great job in low light. So, um, other than that, um, put that aside. I'll use this the most um, for my fashion shoots. Uh, if if I can't use that, then I'll use my twenty four seventy. Um, but one thirty five two point oh. I don't really use this too much, but um, sometimes when I need to, I use it for ceremonies where I can't walk past the pews or I have to just stand in one place. Um, I'll use this for uh, those uh, those ceremonies, um, or just as needed. Um, twenty four millimeter tilt shift lens and my seventeen to forty. I use those mainly for landscape, and I've used it in the past for engagement shoots. Twenty four seventy, um, super cool, but I think it's overdone. Everybody does the whole tilt shift look, so um, don't do that too much anymore. Hold fast gear. Dot com. This is my awesome camera strap. Uh, this particular one is the Money Maker. Um, the reason I did a review on this already, but I'll do a quick one. Um, the reason why I got this is because it connects in the back and eliminates the camera strap from sliding off your shoulders. Um, I guess I'll just show it. Show it to you guys real quick. Tangle here. Sorry. All right, here we go. So pretty much what it does, it looks like that. It looks like that. And uh, these quick release locks right here, just click it on to these hooks at the bottom of your camera right here. And you just leave it hanging. And it's super easy to maneuver up and down um, in the same place, you know, you know move around and whatnot and it stays on your shoulders it doesn't lean off and slide off because you know shooting an eight hour to 16 hour wedding i mean could put a lot of weight on your shoulders and it hurts at the end of the day um, but holdfastgear.com they have other colors um and textures and they have other models too besides this one um check that out amazing camera straps hands down bar none um this right here is my Vagabond Mini. Um, I had the older Vagabond, but that thing is just lugging around a car battery. It's super heavy, but the Mini, honestly, it's super light, you know, portable, quick, easy. Um, I don't really use this camera, this, not camera strap, but the strap right here, I'm gonna take it off, but I normally just throw this in my in-case sling bag and uh, have the power cord hanging out and just hold the flash. Um, super easy, or 
you know, just throw it on a tripod. And it comes with the hook, so you can just strap it onto your um, your tripod and you know have your flashlight there and just move it around that way. But I mainly just use this for receptions if there's not a uh, available um, power then I'll use this because the DJ is hogging up all the power no, I'm just joking. Um, or if I'm on site at a beach a field or any place that just uh, doesn't have power this this is my go-to power right here I highly recommend it um, super light um, I have my 5d mark 3 70 and T3i. Um, these are these two right here are my main cameras. This is my backup camera, but this is my main camera for weddings. Um, T3i. Uh, I mainly just use this for my photo booth, to be honest. Um, I know it's overkill, but get better picture quality. <laughs> um, and I just pair it up with a 20, uh, 17 to 40. I know that's super overkill, but hey. Uh, it's all about picture quality. Um, this right here, I just got super awesome. Um, it's an ND filter. I just got this last week. Um, what I mainly what I'm mainly gonna use this for is my fashion shoots, and I'm gonna try it out for an engagement shoot and see how that goes. But um, I think this is 0 0.6. So what this does, it's uh, it darkens up the the sky, and you you know. You flash your subject with your your flash. Super awesome system. Um, kind of expensive, but uh, it's definitely well worth it. Um, just get that different look. It's all about being different, right? Um, and compact flash cards. You know, I, I read on a lot of forms that a lot of photographers shoot a whole wedding on one or two cards. That's just a big mistake um, in my book. Um, I shoot with multiple cards. Um, how I do it is I'll shoot one card for each section of your wedding. Um, getting ready shots for the bride and groom and all the details like wedding dress rings and so on. I'll shoot that all in one card. Uh, formal pictures and bridal party pictures and family pictures I'll shoot on one card. Ceremony on one card. Reception on one card and so on. Um, you know because Shoot out one card is just really, really stupid because if that card fails on you, then you lost the whole shoot, the whole wedding, and you're not going to have happy customers, clients. Um, other than that, uh, to my right, I air remote to trigger my Pro Photo flashes. Um, amazing Pro Photo lights here. Um, it's consistent, the lights are consistent, they don't change colors. Um, comes with I like this. It comes with the frost glass, but I always, always, um, I don't know, softbox to it. So, amazing lights. Um, and here is another flash. It's my Alien B flash. I usually use this for receptions or um, engagement shoots because it's super light, super portable, lightweight, um, and just easy to maneuver. You know, just throw it on a tripod or a monopod hold it up and you're good to go. Um, but I mainly use this for reception and engagement shoots. Um, just because, you know, during a reception, if somebody, you know, kicks a tripod and knocks this over, you know, $300, is, it's okay, you know. But compared to $2,000, you know, hey, I'd rather drop this than, than these guys. So other than that, graph tape. You never know when you need this. Um, tape a flash to the wall. Uh, it doesn't leave any residue, so I always bring this with me just in case. It's like survival, right? Um, and what I use the graph tape for is uh, I tape up my gear. I don't like advertising exactly what type of gear I have. Um, you know, if you're at a hotel and, you know, there's some crooked people out there, they'll they'll take your gear. So if you don't advertise exactly what you have, they'll be like, ah, whatever, you probably have some cheap stuff. but. You know, and actually, it, this is expensive gear. You know, you want to protect it. You want to, you want to hide it so people don't steal it. Um, so tape up your gear. I haven't finished taping up my lenses, but I went as far as taping up the red ring because it's super bright. You know, I don't like to advertise exactly what type of lens I'm shooting with. You know, especially for photojournalists, you know, you want to tape up your gear. Just especially if you're traveling too, tape up your gear. 
you're walking around, you know, out of the country and whatnot, you know, um, you don't want to have somebody come up there and just cut your camera straps and take you out, take off with your gear. Um, and not only that, but like I tape up down at the bottom of my gear just so, you know, when you have your camera straps and whatnot, it doesn't scratch up your gear. So it protects it too. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll do some more reviews. Maybe the next one I'll do on post-production. Um, who knows? I don't know yet. But I uh, hope you like it. Um, leave a comments below if you have any suggestions. Um, don't be too harsh on me. I don't really do videos and I'm not too good at it. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Um, iconsphotography.com. Check it out. Cheers.